here we're uh, preparing to leave with this 500 ton load of transformer and trailers on the way to Benmore it's 3 a.m. in the morning four o'clock on the road it's a large load it's the biggest load ever moved in the South Island one of the first first one of four so it's large there's a lot of planning a lot of work being involved in getting this ready that's for sure before daylight well it'll take we'll be out of town by daylight onto the main road so take us two or three hours to get out of there Put an extra couple of pilots on. We don't need to by law, but we are just um, to control traffic. Traffic is really um, a lot different today than it was 10 years ago. So. And humps, um, yeah, there's a, there's a number of uh, obstacles, but um, as we say, it's been done before, and we're, we're, we're pretty confident we're okay. We've done all our checks. So. I'm Dave, Dave Carr. I'm the uh, one of the owners of the company. So I'm, tonight I'm running this first one, and uh, with my good guys, my good men. Yes, definitely these would be the heaviest loads up this route, uh, even heavier than all the hydro equipment that was taken up when they built the hydros. The, the road cambers off each side and it, it, it cambers on the corners uh, and it's most important that the load maintains a vertical alignment. Um, it's got to be plumb all the time, uh, otherwise the centre of gravity moves away from the centre and loads up the axles on one side of the trailer. So therefore, it's most important that the load is maintained level or plumb throughout its journey from A to B. You'll notice on a lot of the corners, they travel very, very slowly because he's lifting and leveling the trailers um, and he's trying to keep the load maintained and in a safe position on all corners. under every one so you don't really want to cut them so I said well okay we'll try and lift and not have to cut them so we did that and we lifted those last ones with that big crane to get under so that went alright.
the actual uh, load is spread pretty even throughout the whole convoy. The uh, tractor units in the front are running 8 tonne on their front axles and 10 tonnes each on their driving axles. They all have three axles. And then you've got 13 lines of modular trailer running at 15.5 tonne a row in the front. And then the same at the rear, another 13 axles running at 15.5 tonne. And then you've got uh, your pusher trucks at the back running eight and 10 and 10. Targets on the north of will be slippery and we'll put damage the road, so we'll put another truck. So we'll probably run four trucks today on the steeper hills just to make sure we don't damage the road. Yeah, just, just because of the heat. Dave said before Dave K said it's a, it's a challenge and he said he wouldn't want any bigger. This is about as big as you can get them, the biggest as, big as they can handle with their, uh, all their uh, sophisticated equipment. So getting the transformers to site um, up the road from Timaru uh, was only part of the job really. They, uh, once they arrived at the site down by the uh, corner there, they had to transfer the transformer uh, from the beam set uh, to a low loader. So that in itself was quite an operation. It's a lot of work and it's big gear and uh, you have to know what you're doing. Every bit's got to go in the right place and you don't get a second chance if you get it wrong with uh, the size of the weight, yeah, looking at 232 tonnes, so you've got to be on the money, you don't want to get it wrong. Yeah, that's it. And they're expensive. Yeah, beauty, yeah, beauty. Yep, they're out. They had to uh, lower the transformer down out of the beam set. The beam set, set each uh, main beam splits into three pieces. So it's quite, quite an exercise here to uh, split the beam and um, take the transformer out of the beam set and uh, move the trailers out of the way and then to load it up onto the low loader for transportation uh, from down the road there onto site onto the uh, main slab for uh, assembly. Okay, the guys are just going to jack it up again now and they're going to load onto a multi wheel trailer, the 13 axle deck, and then with that small trailer we'll be able to take it through the front gate onto the runway slab in front of the transformer base. So yeah, so tonight we should have it on the trailer, and then tomorrow we'll move it up, up to the site. Fortunately for us, yeah, the transformers arrived on site here without incident. Uh, the shock recorders, they were all red once they were um, placed down and um, no, no major shocks on the transformers there, so that was um, very pleasing. Now yeah, so we just got it in time really. We won't do a lift like this in the dark, so um, we knew we had enough time to get it on there, so that's good. As you can see, we've made it onto the, onto the trailer, the temporary trailer we're going to use in, in the substation here. So um, we just finished landing it on there just now, making the best of the fine weather and the mozzies. It's a big job, but uh, we have the, have the men here to do it, so it's been good. Yeah, my guys have done a really good job, I think. Everything went according to plan and no major problems we had anywhere, so it says a lot for good planning, doesn't it? So, um, and good guys, you know, guys work hard, they work really hard, done a good job, so, yeah, I'm very pleased, actually.